y'all i am back with another video and today we are going to be doing a diy on for my children a valentine's gift have you got your kids a valentine's gift what are you getting them if you are before we get into this video give it a thumbs up and let's see what we have so the items that i did get or that i have are from dollar tree you know we always need scissors for everything scissors we always need scissors for everything so we have scissors and then i just picked up a bunch of random little teddy bears and things like that from dollar tree uh dollar tree to test my idea so i found these little was fading i got some items from my favorite store which is dollar tree so i'm gonna just place everything that i got out so we can look at it um and then i'm gonna be telling y'all what i am going to be making I just bought random little things for the kiddos. Um, don't know exactly how I'm going to do this, how it's going to fit. But I do have an idea. Um, if y'all see my stuff just spraying out everywhere, excuse it. So Dollar Tree do have these teddy bears for $5. Um, they're a little bigger. And then they have also like pillows and things like that as well for five dollars so i'm gonna be showing y'all everything i have or i got to do this project and then after i show you all and then i picked up all of these so these were from dollar tree as well i also picked up some from target so i have several of those So Dollar Tree um, things did come with like a lot of different types of characters and things like that. So I did like that it did have options and it looks different. And then I'll show you the ones that I got from Target. Can you hand me them rubber bands up there? On that thing up there. Thank you. So. And then I'm going to need rubber bands for this project as well. I may need some bigger ones. I don't know. So these are the ones that I got from Target. I believe. But I don't know because they're in this Dollar Tree bag. I also have ribbon. And I found these little body wash crayon pens, Crayola pens. Um, so I have a lot of different things that I'm going to be working with here so I also found these little cat sticks I thought they was cute actually a lady that was in Dollar Tree pointed these out to me and so I wanted to see if I could use those along with tissue paper so Dollar Tree didn't have any more Valentine tissue paper, or I don't know if they had any any anyways this year, but I am gonna be using tissue paper for this project. Yeah, I'm trying to get my other project out the way so I can get this one done. And then because Dollar Tree didn't have a lot of options for me, I did get tissue paper from Walmart, which was $1.48, and then I got these ribbons, which was prop. oh, they were 98 cents. So, these are the items that I'm going to be using in this project. So, let's get rid of it. Okay, so, and we are going to be using tape for this project, too. So, to start this project... I'm going to just start it off with a small teddy bear this time because I do want to see how it works or I'm going to see how this project works with a bear. So we're going to start it off with a small bear. So we'll use this, get our bear, and then we're going to get tape. This is going to be your first step. Do this. This right here. Okay. So I'm going to get the piece of tape. And then we're going to get the bear. And we're going to take the tape. 
and you can do this in several ways i don't need this big of a piece that i got so i'm going to cut it down i'm going to put a piece of tape behind the thing and i'm going to tape it to the bare then i'm going to tape tape this piece and then i'm going to tape the bear's hand on there like that and so when it comes open everything should be stuck so it's going to be stuck then the next part the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take this bear and i'm going to fold him in like that and this is where your tissue paper comes in you're going to take your tissue paper and you are going to pretty much place your bear upside down on the tissue paper and you kind of want it to be shaped like a circle however it may not fully go like a circle but that's fine you want it more round and kind of even okay so you're going to take that and then you get your rubber bands. You can get a big one, you can get a small one. And then you're gonna wrap it up like that. Uh-oh, be careful, y'all. Uh, you're gonna wrap it up like that, and then you're gonna look for the little insert hole. You're gonna look for the little insert hole so it doesn't really look like much right now, but this is what it looks like. So you're going to look for the little insert hole that you made. And you can take either your Crayola and stick it in there. And then you're going to take, because like I said, Dollar Tree didn't have the tissue paper that I wanted. I'm, I did go back and I bought more tissue paper. So I'm going to take my piece of tissue paper. And then I'm going to, before I take this piece, I'm going to take this pen. And I'm going to go ahead and get another piece of tape. get another piece of tape and I'm gonna go ahead and roll that tape around and then I'm gonna roll, uh, wrap it around the pen okay and so now and I'm using tape because you don't want it to stick permanently 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 I might have pronounced that wrong but you don't want it to stay you just want it to be temporary and so I'm gonna now go ahead and so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take the ribbon that I want to use so whatever ribbon that you would like to use I have three I'm gonna use this pink one because it looks like it matches more and I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'm going to go ahead and cut my piece that I want to use. It don't have to be super long. I'm going to cut my piece. And then again, you want to try to put it in the center again. And while I'm at this stage holding it, I'm going to go ahead and break this ribbon because not the ribbon but i'm gonna break break the rubber band because i am using this or giving this to a little kid and once it pops open you want them to be able to see what pops out of it so i'll do it like that i may have made my ribbon too big
but at this point you're just gonna tie the ribbon around you're gonna make sure that it's tight What's an extra piece that was holding it tied around? And then this is a cute little idea for a kid. They hold it. And then once they get it, I kind of wish it was more round shape, which I could have if I put more pressure on the bear, but I did it. But that's fine. But anyways, once they get it, they can hold it like this. And once they get it, they untie it. Once they untie it, everything is going to just pop out. Yeah. So I think that'll be cute. And I'm going to do another one using a different bear the bigger the bears the easier it will be but let's do another one um this time i am going to use this little cat stick just to see or just to show y'all how it holds up but let's go ahead and um get the tape okay so we're gonna do another bear so we're gonna do this yellow one it's a bigger bear as y'all can see i'm gonna go ahead and put that on him the bigger i'm sure it's gonna be easier but it may not be because of the um paper so you're gonna have to probably get this bear tucked in very good so we're gonna do it like that and then at this point because the bear is so big i'm gonna go ahead and take this little kitten toy it's a kitten toy i'm gonna move it take it apart Okay, and it's a, a cat teaser wand. That's what it is. So if you go to Dollar Tree, that's what you will see. Um, You can pull this off if you want to, but I'm not. Only because I feel like it's going to help. So I'm going to place this under here. I, I feel like it's going to help hold um, the stick in. And then I'm going to get another piece of tape. And this time I'm gonna put it on the one in the bear. And so, as y'all can see, I tried to put it in the center. I'm gonna go ahead and start folding the bear's legs in, then his arms, I'm trying to get them as tight as possible. So, right now, he's kind of like a ball and as y'all can see like once the paper comes off of it once the paper comes off of it it's gonna do that and that's what i'm looking for that pop expression so kind of like a surprise but um but i do want to make sure that this one stay in place because this one is a little thinner and this bear is bigger so you can place tape also on the bear in the one kind of give it a little bit more security or you can also tape i'm gonna also put a little piece of tape on the um, heart that has the one the piece that on the one that has the heart in the bear you want it to give it enough security so when they hold in it it don't easily come off And again, I'm going to just fold it up. Put the arms 
Let's do the arms first. Then the head. Yeah, I think the arms, the head, and then the legs will give it a tighter fold. Okay? Then I'm just going to take two pieces of the white paper. And on these, I'm not going to make them even. I'm going to kind of like stack them over each other since it's a little bigger. And that breaks a little bit easier. Now the bigger bears are definitely harder to do. So you may want to use a couple more sheets on the bigger ones. Take my rubber band. I'm going to take two of them since it's a big one. Or actually, in this case, I'll take something else that I can just tie, tie around. I probably should have got some string for this one. Let me see. What can I use since I'm already sitting down here? Okay, y'all, since this one is a bigger one, I am going to use something a little bit more sturdy that I can tie, tie together. Okay, so I'm just going to really use this to tie it. I'm not going to use it for any other purpose i'm just gonna cut a little strip of it only so i can give it a little bit more i didn't feel like getting up to get nothing so i'm using this y'all So for this one, it's gonna have two ties. Okay. Let me see y'all. So at least we know it stays. It stays. The only thing about this is you have to try to make the paper fit it because the paper is too too little but you can work with it or get it to go on there tighter and because this is gonna be for a boy i'm just gonna stick with that strip i'm gonna stick with this strip and then i have this i would have normally pre-cut it but this was just like a last minute thought. I would have used some string or something like that as well. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. I'm gonna try to push this one in more. I wanted to use another piece of red paper, but hey, it is what it is. So this one was a little bit tougher, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. And I didn't want to use the rubber band because it takes so much. So the bigger, the harder it is with this paper. Maybe I should have used wrapping paper, but I don't have any, so that's a thought too. But I wanted it to be super easy for a kid to like tear open or untie it and get to it. Okay, so 
see it's not perfect but y'all get the point it's still on there i'm trying to because this is an older kid so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and put a little tape on it because it's a little different for the little kids i didn't put tape but for this one i will I should have got some wrapping paper. It probably would have worked out a little bit better. But because I don't have wrapping paper, we're going to make it do what it do. Comment down below if y'all think that this concept is cool. And I do a little short when I give it to them out so that y'all can see how they open it and their reaction. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit tougher for the older one because it's not what it's not doing exactly what I thought it should do as far as the tying process. Should be good. There we go. It's not proportioned the way I would like it to be, but y'all get it. Okay, and then I got this pillow. So I'll show y'all how the pillow works. The pillow one should be a little easier. Because you can actually just get this the way you want it to get in this circle. Just like the little bear. Y'all, that uh, stuff was a little messy. For this one, go go ahead. And, this one don't even need the. Shouldn't need the uh, extra, but I'm happy I'm doing like the outer part. Okay, yeah. So I'm happy I'm doing the outer part first, and then coming back with a, another sheet to make it look a little neater because. It wasn't looking neat at all. That's a cute one too. Maybe I should use that one. Hmm. I'll just stick with the final one for each one. Kind of like having a Christmas Valentine present. Okay, I did three of them for y'all. Just to kind of show y'all how it would look. I could have got this to look smaller. But it'll be okay. And I could have... Yeah. It'll be okay, though. It don't have to be perfect. 
Y'all comment down below what y'all think. It's just for my little babies. It's not the sale or anything. So tell me what y'all think about them. The bigger ones are harder to do. The smaller ones are easier. Um, I think the bigger ones will be better if you don't use the tissue paper, but that's what I had in mind. I think you could use um, wrapping paper, um, and that will be better for this project when it comes to the big ones. But these would be so cute, and even you can sell them, and then I'll make a little short so y'all can see how they open them and how they just kind of pop open because that's what I want them to be, like a lollipop pop open um, gift. So let me do another one. Because it's supposed to be four, so we're gonna get another one in here. So this it'll be two monkeys, and then I had other ones, but I was gonna do these right here, but I said nah, I can pass on. But we'll see. So I'm going to do the little monkeys. I hope you all like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Tell me what you think. Um, I wanted to give y'all a good view. Like It's like a sucker pop. Even though it's not directly in the middle on that one. And then this one is not as round shaped. But y'all get the difference. Lollipop, sucker pop pop open sucker um these are it super cute super easy super fun for the kids to get them revealed to them i think i'm always coming up with like different ideas tell me what you all think in the comments below and as i stated before give it a thumbs up yeah give it a thumbs up hope y'all like it Peace until next time.